Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome if you're new. My name's Shan, says it on my bottle, from Home with Shan over on Instagram, and I've got a little baby boy called George, who is seven months old. Today's just gonna be a really standard day in our life, on maternity leave, stay at home mum, whatever you wanna call it. It is like a day in the life of a real mum, basically. Um, I've got loads of washing to do, I've got some batch cooking of baby food to do, I've got to go to the shops, like all the all the good stuff, all the fun stuff that comes with being a mum. But yeah, I've got lots of fun things coming up in the video. I really want to show you guys my new car seat as well. I've got a whole little segment on it, so I'm really excited to share that with you. And yeah, let's just go around, let's just have a little chill, have a little chat, and um, yeah, go from there. Let's start the washing. I popped the wash on this morning, it was just because we had so many towels. But my tumble dryer, so this is like a washer dryer and it doesn't tumble dry when it's like really full. So I might as well just hang them up outside because it's a decent day. And yeah, that's my life. Let's go. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side our fears are done. All the good times just begun. What we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright having his lunch i thought we were running low we had a couple of things left in the fridge for george like baby meals but we absolutely didn't so i had to make him some makeshift meal which was literally just a cheese and ham sandwich essentially i mean eventually i decided to tear it up because he was just putting the whole thing in his mouth which is obviously not sensible so i gave him that and i gave him a couple of grapes and i just cut them into eight to be honest with the grapes he normally just sucks on them anyway um but they're thin enough so that if he were to like swallow them it would be perfectly safe for him to do so but yeah you seem quite happy. You quite like it, don't you? Yeah. But I definitely need to batch cook some stuff today. So I think what I'm gonna do is go through my Ella's Kitchen cookbook. For me, this is the best cookbook, like baby cookbook that I've had. It's really simple, really easy. George likes it. Everything that we've made for him from this has been really, really nice. His favorite one is this cream cheese, rosemary or like creamy cheesy rosemary risotto it's got butternut squash in it I might do it with pasta and see how it goes because the only time he's had pasta he hasn't really liked it so i mean he's ate it but he's not as enthusiastic about it as rice or like risotto so i think i'll try the same flavors with pasta and then see how that goes i'll kind of just adapt it as i go but the basic flavors will be exactly the same like i said this cookbook is really really good for just like your basic Easy stuff. Oh, lovely. Giving it a ham sandwich. How sweet. You don't want it. 
so george just had his lunch uh, his little makeshift lunch i definitely need to start batch cooking him some stuff i want to make him a couple of batch cook recipes and one of them i really want to use instead of boiling water i want to use a low salt stock cube that's like suitable for babies as well <laughs> So we're going to go to the shops now and I get to show you guys our new car seat because obviously we're going to go and use that now. So I'm going to go and show you guys me installing it, George testing it out. And yeah, honestly, guys, you're going to absolutely love this. So this is the Graco Turn To Me rotating car seat and it spins 360 degrees. I found it so easy to install the Isofix base and everything because of the integrated colour coded indicators and the 12 position load leg. It switches from red to green so when it's green you know that it's in a safe position. We've installed this in both my partner's car and in my car and it's been so simple each time. It spins 360 degrees so it does provide a really easy access for when you're putting baby in and out of the car. Spin it round towards you and then they just go in. It's so simple. Simple. It reclines and it has like five different settings, which I find really helpful. Sometimes if George is tired, we'll tilt him back a little bit, or you can have them sitting up straight. It's really easy to do it. You can glide it really, really simply. It's such good quality, so much better than any other car seat we've tried. And putting George in it is such a dream because I know that it's got such good padding. It's really comfortable for him. It's got padded headrests. The harness and the buckles have got covers on them, so it's super comfortable for him. And there's side ventilation as well, so it keeps him cool in the summer, which is really, really handy. It also comes with a newborn insert, so you can use it from newborn, which is amazing. I've obviously taken that part out because George is seven months old, but I just love how simple this is. You can loosen the seat belts really simply just by pushing on the button underneath, pulling on the straps, really, really easy. And then to tighten them, there's just a little bit at the bottom that you pull. It's really easy. A little trick to make sure that your seat belt is tight enough is to pinch the straps like I am here. And if there's slack in it, and if you can still get some material, it needs to be tighter. So again, Again, I'll tighten that up even more and now we can see that there's no slack in it so it's perfectly safe for George to start traveling go to the shops George looks so happy in this he's gonna be rearward facing for the time being until he's at least 15 months old and then we might decide to turn him front facing when he's a little bit older but for now he is rearward facing he looks so happy I absolutely love the price point of this because it is 150 pounds which is so much more affordable than I thought it would be I absolutely love it I feel like Graco have smashed this one guys i really do i would highly recommend checking it out if you're in the market for a new car seat so again it's the gray coat turn to me rotating car seat i can't tell you how often i've said it would be so good if we had a 360 spin car seat and now I've got one and I'm so chuffed with it. George is clearly very happy in it. He's so comfy. I feel so safe and secure and I know that he's going to be really happy in this and we're just going to absolutely love this for getting out and about when we can, popping to the shops. Even taking him out is a dream because I can just release the straps really simply pop him out, he's facing towards me, it's just so much easier than I ever thought it could be. But let's get back in and start batch cooking. <sighs> okay, we just got back from the shop, that was fun wasn't it? He really likes his new car seat, I really like it. It's so much easier to get him in and out of the car seat because it spins, like that is the biggest selling point for me. And it's obviously super safe, so I'm just in love with it. I love it so much. John seems to like it as well. He normally kicked off a little bit in his old car seat, he absolutely didn't kick off at all in this, so. Don't know if that's just luck or if he is very much approving of it. Um, we went to the shop and I got these, which are low salt, um, they're low salt stock cubes. Yes, they are also gluten free. So I am gluten free these days for various reasons. I mean, sometimes I'm not, but I try to be as gluten free as possible. Plus, these are low salt, which is good for babies, obviously. So. I'm actually hoping that I can use these and George can use these. So buzzing about that and I'm actually going to be using these in one of the recipes that I'm going to start batch cooking. But I need to pop him down for a nap because he's tired. Tired boy. Can I have them? Thank you. Um, and then I'm going to start batch cooking everything and hopefully by the time I finish he'll wake up and get us some dinner. Yes? Mwah. Night night. Say night to everyone. Night. Mwah. Night. <laughs> Next time I see you, I'll be batch cooking. So this is the recipe that I'm going to be doing, but again, I'm going to be doing it with pasta instead of risotto, which actually will take far less time. So instead of putting all the risotto and the garlic and everything in a pan to simmer with some water, I'm just going to cook the pasta normally and then cook the butternut squash, like just boil it, I think. You can obviously cook it properly, like roast it or whatever, but it's just for George. He doesn't need all the artisan flavours. He can just have it boiled um, and then I'll mash it all together, add in all of the other bits as well and then see how he goes with it. And I hope... 
he's going to enjoy it. I'm just going to start by cooking the pasta and then chopping up the butternut squash. I'm just going to pop the butternut squash in with the pasta once the pasta's like part cooked and then I'm just going to make sure it's all boiled, really nice and soft, ready to mash up a little bit later. You can definitely just use the frozen butternut squash that you might have in the freezer, cubed up already, but once the butternut squash and the pasta is cooked, I'm literally just gonna mash it together with a potato masher, add in a bit of butter and some parmesan as well, because that's what the recipe says to do. I added a bit of rosemary as well, but you really don't have to do that, I don't think. And then I'm just gonna pop it in to this silicone weaning tray that I got on Amazon. I'll link it down below. It's so handy for batch cooking. I think it's the best invention ever. So easy to just get out of the freezer later when you're ready. It's honestly the best. I'm just going to start making the risotto now and I'm just going to measure out a bit of risotto and then do it basically how the pack says to do it and I'm just going to pop that in the pan with some butter or oil actually in this circumstance. Pop that all in and mix it all together, make sure that it's all like coated with the oil and then I'm going to pop in some Chinese five spice. George really likes this. Um, obviously you can use whatever spice you want. This is just a made up recipe by the way. Just things that we have that I know that George likes. So make sure that's all coated and then I'm going to make the stock with the organic chicken stock cube which is in very low salt that's why I'm using that you can just use boiled water if you want to but this just adds a little bit extra flavor I think once the stock's made up I'm just going to pop it into the frying pan with the rice and then basically add some stir it until that reduces add a bit more until it reduces and then so on until the rice is cooked I'm then just going to pop a load of frozen veg into a boiling pan and cook that all up until everything is ready and then when the rice is done and the veg is boiled I'm just going to mash up the veg until it's like small enough that I think it's going to be tasty and easy for George to eat then I'm just literally going to mash it all in together mix it all in together and that is George's risotto I even did the taste test and it actually tasted half decent I would eat that made absolutely loads so I'm using these little portion pots to pop in the fridge and the freezer and this is going to be George's lunches and dinners for the forthcoming weeks obviously if I will make some other things as well but to have this stash is like the best thing ever look how much food we've got here whenever I'm low on ideas or anything like that I can just pop one of these out and I've put in the effort now and it's just going to pay off so much day to day I literally cannot wait it's probably about three portions in these bigger ones and then maybe one and a half portions in the smaller ones and then each of these little cubes are one portion that is me done i'm batch cooked out we've got like i'd say about 20 meals out of that entire lot so we've got loads of that risotto because i know he likes risotto but i try and put different things in it each time so that time i obviously just put a bit of spice in it and then like loads of veggies which he eats all the time which is obviously really good then I did a pasta, but I did the pasta with like flavours I know he really likes. Again, that Ella's Kitchen cookbook, guys. I know I've spoken about it a lot, but it really is just really, really good. I get pretty much all of my inspiration from that. I always get asked on Instagram and stuff, where do I get like my inspiration for like my recipes and stuff? And to be honest, I sort of wing it and sort of get the inspo from Ella's Kitchen like for the flavours and things and then just kind of go with it. So yeah, that's kind of all I do. Literally one cookbook is all you need, I swear. There's so many and they're so complicated and you have to make them look so fancy. He's a baby, like he will eat anything. But yeah, that is pretty much everything for this video. Thank you so much for watching guys. Thanks for watching my real mum life vlog. Not too exciting, but it is my real life and I feel like a lot of us are living this life. So yeah, sometimes it's nice to like watch people that you can relate to. I know I love watching mum vlogs like real day in the life and that kind of thing i feel like i'm not very good at vlogging i'm not gonna lie but i do try so um yeah i hope you really enjoyed it but i'll see you in the next video guys love you lots bye because you glue all the pieces back together yeah you you take all my wrongs and make them better yeah you you're making me want to try forever i feel so free oh my sweet baby